Hi, this is Joseph. In this video, I'm going to review my trading system, how the trade copier uh, works, and a few things that you need to be aware of before making that final decision to sign up and start using the trade copier service. So if, you, if you've been watching the videos on the website, you're pretty much familiar with the uh, primary techniques that I use. One of them is the continuation breakout trade. That's a strategy that I developed back in 2001, and it's very, very effective and very profitable. And then I also use another day trading strategy. I call it the HL30. Very, very affordable stop loss. It's a 20 pip stop and a 20 pip target. So I'm going to show you a few examples here of the continuation breakout trade. Those are two of the primary trades. Now, there are other techniques that I've developed, like the tech one trade. There are also reversals and things like that. I'm not going to get into the details here. All of that information is in the membership area because I give you direct access to my trading course so that you can understand what it is that I'm doing. But again, what I'm talking about here in this video is how these trades are going to impact your personal trading account and what you need to be prepared for. So in the past, I only opened one trade at a time with this trade copier service. And the reason that I did that is that I can't control the leverage that each of my subscribers use, right? I can't, I have no control over it. You have to specify the lot sizing that you are comfortable with. It is your responsibility to understand proper money management principles. If you're struggling with understanding how much could you comfortably put on one single trade, if you don't understand that, those concepts, contact your broker. If you speak to a sales representative at your broker's office and they don't give you the assistance that you want, tell them that it's important that you understand this before you go further. You want somebody who will take the time to get on the phone and explain what is appropriate for the amount of money that you have in your trading account. So in the past, as I mentioned, I was always executing just one trade at a time because I could see that some of my subscribers were using extremely high leverage. It just doesn't make any sense. So what you're looking at right now is the pound dollar. And the pound dollar, this is the one hour time frame, and this is multiple continuation breakout trades that have all worked out. This dotted line that you see right here in the middle of the screen and over here to the far left, this separates the start of one week and the end of the previous week. And as you can see here, the market's closed. I'm actually making this video on a Sunday so that that way everybody can prepare for exactly what we're going to do starting on Monday. So again, this is one week's worth of trading activity on the pound dollar. This is the second week going back and then all the way back to about three weeks ago. It's about two and a half weeks worth of data that you see here. And again, you can see that there were multiple continuation breakout trades on this pair that worked out and hit their final targets. 55 pips is the take profit on the continuation breakout trade, but I use a 55 pip stop loss on the continuation breakout trades. On the HL30, I use a 20 pip stop loss and a 20 pip target. Now let me show you how different this currency pair moved compared to a trade that I got stuck in. This is the Euro dollar. And again, this is that dotted line right there which marks Sunday, today's Sunday. This is Friday's close. This is where the market's gonna open as soon as it does. I'm in California, so the market opens at two o'clock. We've got a, uh, the, uh, the next line here is the, uh, you know, going back to the previous Friday, and then that was last week's worth of trading activity. So you can see here on the Euro dollar, I had a continuation sell signal candle, and it didn't hit its final target for a really long time. Sometimes that will happen with some of these currency pairs. So there were not multiple continuation breakout trades on this pair. It was this one that remained intact and it was still in play. So this one was a trade that I had to watch for almost four days waiting for it to hit the final target. Four days. This trading behavior, this activity right here was very different on the euro dollar compared to the pound dollar. So what I'm getting at is that if I take a trade and I just take one trade at a time, we could get stuck in a trade like this where it goes nowhere and we make no money for three or four days. However, there are other opportunities with my trading system that I could execute multiple trades and I do in my own personal account because I can control the lot sizing. I'm not going to overexpose my capital. I'm gonna give myself the opportunity to trade multiple setups on different currency pairs because they will and they do move differently. They don't always move 
you know, in, in, in harmony, in consistency with, with each other. Sometimes, and these are different, it happens for different reasons, right? They're different economies, right? The, what's going on in the UK and with Brexit and their economics is very different than what we see in the uh, Eurozone sometimes. And then we have, you know, rate decisions that can have an impact. And sometimes these two currency pairs will split and go in different directions. So they're two different economies is what I'm getting at. So it's going to provide me different opportunities. So you can see that with the euro dollar, I had one trade that I had to sit in when there were actually three or four additional continuation breakout trades that I could have provided opportunities for everybody to earn profits on. 55 pips here, 55 pips here, 55 pips here, and 55 pips there. All within the same two-week period, if we go back again to the euro dollar, there was just one trade opportunity here with the continuation breakout trade. As far as the continuation breakout trades go, I'm not talking about any other techniques. So I want to bring it to your attention that moving forward, I will be executing more than one trade at a time. I will have more than one trade open at a time. Not always, but when the market provides me an opportunity, if I was to trade this in the future and I sell it as a continuation breakout trade here on the euro dollar and then it goes flat for three or four days, I will continue to manage the trade. But in the meantime, if I see other continuation breakout trades set up on other currency pairs, I am going to execute them. So please prepare yourself for the fact that on occasion, there is going to be more than one trade open at a single time. This is how I trade. This is how I'm able to make every month a profitable month. So again, if you use my trade copier service, please be prepared that on occasion, there's going to be more than one open trade at a time. This is also another advantage, is that if any of the other trades fail, by trading like this and taking all trade opportunities on the major currency pairs, and if you question which major currency pairs I trade, you can go to the website, you can see them listed there. If I experience a loss, this gives me the opportunity to earn that loss back a lot faster for everybody. I can earn it back on another currency pair. 